here we can see uh, in this project this uh, pure geometric solution, but uh, interpreted with a rich uh, brick uh, texture. Congratulations. In the background, the newly built Olympic Park grounds in London. In the foreground, the building responsible for providing all of the new stadiums and venues with power. Designed by Nord Architecture in Scotland. Out of a run-down neighbourhood, a showpiece of urban planning has developed in the last few years. One that will continue to be a busy, vibrant area of London, even after the 2012 Olympics. The substation is a central point of electrical distribution of electrical energy on the Olympic Park. Its purpose is primarily to take energy from the national grid within the UK to transmit and distribute that energy to the various uh, venues and what will be homes and communities within the Olympic Park. The shape of the building um, is, I think is, is quite peculiar and people are curious about why the, the, it follows a particular shape. But it's very much to do with the functioning of the building but other wider parameters that we had to work with. The other thing I think was one of the biggest challenges we had was that it was the first building out of the ground and we really didn't have a lot of context to work with. You know, people, architects are always quite, um, they always respond to context, whether it's adjoining buildings, um, heights of buildings. Um, we were having to try and think ahead, what was the legacy of the park? So what would the future of the park be? So that was one big consideration, is how this building would sit within the context of a future London. You know, what, how would this park evolve after the Olympic Games? We might have residential flats round about the building, we might have offices, we really don't know. So that was one of the reasons we're very keen to look at the brick covering the whole building. Perhaps no other city has been so traditionally characterised by brick as London. It is only fitting that a modern utility building should once again exemplify this preference for brick in a contemporary interpretation. The technical inner workings remain invisible, however, hidden from the outside within the sophisticated black system of cubes. We felt that a building like a substation is something that's got a permanence, got a legacy, way beyond the Olympic Games, and that maybe there was an opportunity to think about a material that was more traditional, uh, the rich history in the context of, of the UK and, um, and utility structures. So we thought about brick as a familiar material. But the black brick is something that evolved out of a, a really comprehensive study of East London. We, we did a, a photographic study of about 250 buildings, which are black, some painted black, some gloss black. So it's something that just started to evolve over time. And also, I think there was this idea about the permanence of the building, something that would be there for hundreds of years. British brick architecture was, in fact, one of their top export products during the late 19th century. This tradition is incorporated into the substation with elegance and a high quality of craftsmanship, transforming an historical legacy into the here and now. Bricks are an amazing material in terms of its craftsmanship and, and level of detail. Now what's interesting about this building is it looks very simple. It looks like one big simple brick box or container, but it's very complicated, it's very elaborate. So what you'll see in the building is a very simple brick bond up to a dating level and then the brick starts to change. The detailing of it gets, gets slightly uh, more complex as it does different things. So the brick in the substation is simply a veneer, so it's purely aesthetic in some places. It's structural in some places, so it's tied back and actually load-bearing. Some places it's the roofscape, and in other places it's decorative and provides just screening to the ventilation coolers. What appears at first glance as a simple and straightforward utility building is actually a precise and thoroughly conceived, finely composed construction. Here, brick can play out all of its advantages. It produces compact formations, beautiful structures in relief, and, where it's beneficial, it leaves openings for ventilation. Ultimately, the substation should continue to provide its services years after the Olympic Games are over. 
It's very important to us that buildings of this nature get recognised. The historical context of the substation, it is a utility infrastructure, it is a utility building. And obviously brick for us very much fits with the heritage of the area. You know, I think that's really clear to see in the substation. It was, you know, taking an idea, one idea of a material and really taking it to its, its extreme and trying to use it in every way, shape or form.